Hey guys and welcome back to the Dog Mom Diaries. My name is Danette and I'm so excited for today's episode because I've been getting a lot of questions about tips and tricks on how to start crate training and a lot of people, like most of the people that I know, don't crate train and I would recommend looking at it because it is the best thing that we've done. So what I wanted to share with you guys today is if you have a new puppy or you're thinking about getting a new puppy or even starting maybe crate training a little bit later with your dog, then these are the five tips that I would recommend before starting crate training and um, in the beginning of the crate training stages so let's get into it Tip number one that I wanted to share is be patient, okay? Before you start anything, you have to keep in mind that this isn't going to be like a one month thing that you're going to get into. And you know, after one month, your puppy is gonna be used to it and he's gonna be totally fine and he's gonna sleep right through the night without whining or anything. This thing takes a while and you have to be patient throughout because puppy doesn't know about crate training. So it's going to take him time to get used to it. So that is the most important thing through this whole journey of doing crate training is you have to know that it's going to take a while and you have to be patient while raising your puppy so that's the first thing the second thing that i wanted to share with you guys is you have to start slow so when you are getting your crate make sure that you keep in mind to take things very easy in the beginning because you don't want to create any kind of negative atmosphere or negative experience for your puppy when starting crate training because it will be a new thing so as soon as there's a negative connotation or a negative experience that the puppy has with regards to crate training then it's going to make the journey going forward and the training going forward much more difficult so you have to take it slow and how i started to take it slow is when we first got puppy the first evening when we when we had him home is we actually used a blow-up mattress we placed it next to the crate and we actually slept next to the crate so that he is reassured because now it's the first evening that he's he, that he is by himself without his family or his siblings so he will be lonely he's going to feel very very lonely and it's going to be tough on him um, so we wanted to make it a very good experience by placing the mattress next to his crate and reassuring him every time that he wakes up that we we are here with him and we are going through this process with him and then when I leave the house of course I need to leave him in the crate and then I always give him a bunch of treats and I give him amazing treats and I use the Kong mostly um, there's actually a really cool recipe that I that I use just something similar that I use to fill his Kong with and then I leave it in the crate and then I'm off to work or off to my appointments but then I make sure that he enjoys his crate and enjoys the treat that I gave him when I put him into the crate. Another thing that I've been doing is we started training him in his playpen as well so that this is really his safe space and this is his area, his designated area. So that's also something that we introduced. Step number three that I can give is make sure you are feeding your puppy in the crate. Okay, you want to make sure that mealtime is happening in his crate. We started feeding him from day one. We fed him in his crate. We wanted to make sure that he knows that when he's in his crate, he's going to enjoy it and he's going to get lots of treats and food and he's going to be fed there. So still today, I feed him in the crate and in his playpen. Sometimes I like alter between um, training him outside of the crate and then taking him into the crate but it's it's really in the in the same time space you can even see him now I'm feeding him some of his lunch and um, he's also getting his training in the crate and you can see he has all four paws in the crates and that that is when he gets a treat and when he gets his food tip number four that I can give you guys is make sure that puppy is sleeping in his crate even if it's just for the beginning stages now I love this dog so much and I really want him to sleep with me on the bed but but that's going to come at a later stage when I know that the chewing stages are gone I know he's going to be safe I know that he can jump on and off the bed without hurting himself that is the biggest reason why we also started crate training because we don't want him injuring himself because he's being brave and he's jumping off of the furniture and onto the furniture and all of these things so make sure that your puppy is sleeping in his crate every single night this is going to be something that 
of course you have to be patient you have to be understanding through it but uh, because he will be whining sometimes but i can assure you that it's going to be worth it at the end to have a very well trained puppy he is sleeping in his crate every single evening and now how it works is we will make sure that we play with him and we feed him and we play with him a lot make sure he's well exercised before going to bed then when he settles down he will fall asleep on his bed that's in the lounge in the living room and then i will pick him up and put him into the crate and then we would finish up and then go to bed now at that point he will wake up and be a little bit alive and he will whine a little bit but i always put a timer on and that's going to be tip number five we are getting a couple of nights where we would sleep right through from 11 p.m like today we slept from 11 p.m to 5 to 5 a.m now for him we know that as soon as he starts whining we take him outside because maybe he's whining because he needs to go potty other times he's whining because he wants attention but we don't know that because we don't understand what he's saying but let's be understanding and take him out see if he needs to go potty if not play a little bit with him st uh, wait for him to settle down and then put him back into his crate uh, tip number five is to put a timer on it so this is to make sure that puppy isn't getting a negative experience experience from the crate training because of course they are going to whine it is an adjustment he is going to have to get used to it but if you put a timer on it and say okay puppy is going to whine and if he whines for more than 15 minutes then i'm going to take him out i'm going to give him some love give him some attention see if he needs to go potty and then put him back then you know that you are on the right track like for the first couple of evenings he would whine for three minutes and then me and my boyfriend would freak out we literally put a timer on because those three minutes feels like 20 minutes it feels like he's whining forever so make sure you actually put a timer on it and see how long he is whining before taking him out of the crate and seeing because sometimes Sometimes he will get into a routine of whining because then he knows he's getting taken out and that's not what we want we want to make sure that we give him enough time to settle down by himself on his own and then if he's still whining then see okay maybe there's something wrong maybe he needs to go potty or maybe he just needs some attention so those are the five tips that I can share with you guys for crate training our crate training is going really well he's doing super well he's loving his crate during the day he would randomly go into his crates and take a nap or go and play with one of his toys he is absolutely loving it so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and then we will see you guys in the next episode say bye